Well, today we are going to work on finding the midpoint in the coordinate plane. We're going to find midpoints of both segments and midpoints of segments that are in the XY coordinate plane. So on a number line, the formula is given for you here. The midpoint M of any segment is found by adding the two endpoints together and dividing by two. It's just finding the average or the mean of the two endpoints. And you do the same thing twice in the coordinate plane. So every point has two coordinates, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So what we're going to do is find the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates to find the midpoint of the segment in the xy plane. Here's an example in why it works. They're telling us segment BC has endpoints at 2 and 8. So you can see one of the endpoints here at 2, the other is at 8. So the coordinate of the midpoint of BC is the sum of those two divided by 2. So 2 plus 8 is 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So <clears throat> point D is actually our midpoint, and it's equal distance from point C and point B. It's three units away from each endpoint. So D is the midpoint of segment BC. Its coordinate is 5, and it's three units away from each endpoint. Here's another example of finding the midpoint. If segment AB has endpoints at negative 4 and positive 9, what's the coordinate of its midpoint? Well, the same process. We're letting A be negative 4 and B be 9. The formula for the midpoint is the sum of A and B divided by 2. We're finding the average of those two. When we plug those numbers in, keep your signs. Negative 4 plus 9 is positive 5. Divided by 2 is 2.5. So the coordinate of the midpoint is 2.5. Here's an example in the xy coordinate plane. We have point E, which has coordinates 7, 5, and point F, which has coordinates 2, negative 4. So to find the average, the average of the x coordinate, we're going to add only the first coordinates, the 7 and the 2. So 7 plus 2 is 9, divided by 2, which is 4.5. So that is the x coordinate of the midpoint. The y coordinate of the midpoint, we're going to add just the y coordinates, which are the second numbers in the ordered pair, and that's going to be 5 plus negative 4, which is 1, divided by 2, which is 0 0.5. So the coordinates of the midpoint are 4.5 and 1 half. So if you go over 4.5 units and then go up a half, that would be the midpoint. And that's not indicated in the figure, but it would be right about there. Here's some for you to try. It says JK has endpoints at negative 12 and 4 on a number line. What is the coordinate of its midpoint? So what we would do in this case, we would go ahead and add negative 12 plus 4 and divide that by 2. Well, negative 12 plus 4 equals negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. So the coordinate of the midpoint would be negative 4. How about part B? What is the midpoint of RS? This is segment RS. If these are its endpoints, well, again, the x-coordinate, we would take negative 5 and add 3 together. Excuse me, it's positive 5. So 5 plus 3 divided by 2, and this will be the x-coordinate okay, of the midpoint. Well, that gives us 8 over 2, which is 4. The y-coordinate, then, we're going to use the second coordinate, and that one's going to be negative 10 and positive 6. So we would take negative 10 plus 6 and divide that by 2. Well, that gives us negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2. So then the coordinates of the midpoint, if we want the, to write the coordinates of the midpoint, we're going to go ahead and write that as an ordered pair. The x-coordinate always comes first and that's 4. The y-coordinate always comes last, and that's negative 2. So that is the coordinate of the midpoint. All right, so when we know the midpoint and an endpoint of a segment, we can use the midpoint formula to find the other endpoint, and that's what we're going to do in this example. They're telling us the midpoint here of segment CD is negative 2, 1. So that's the coordinate of point M. One of the endpoints, C, is negative 5, 7. What are the coordinates of the other endpoint, D? We're looking down here to find that. 
So the midpoint formula is the sum of the x coordinates divided by 2 and the sum of the y coordinates divided by 2. And we already know c. c is negative 5, 7. We're going to let that be x1, y1. And then the d coordinate will be x2, y2. Okay, we're just going to let that, and that's going to stay x2, y2. We will substitute in for x1, y1. So when we do that, you can see that um, we already went ahead and we put in the value negative 5 here for x1, right there. And then we put in the value positive 7 for y1 right here. Okay, so you can see that one. And we're going to go ahead and leave the x2 and y2 alone. That's what we're trying to find. Okay. But we already know the coordinate of the midpoint is negative 2, 1. So we already have the, the results of each of these. So we're going to set each part of this equal to the midpoint that we know it's equal to. So the midpoint is negative 2 for the x coordinate. And we're going to set that equal to the negative 5 plus x2 over 2. So just so you understand where the substitution is coming from, this thing right here, this first part, is being rewritten right there. okay? And we set that equal to negative 2 because that is the midpoint um, coordinate of, for the x-coordinate. All right, then we're going to do the same thing for the y-coordinate over here. So the y-coordinate of the midpoint is 1. And then we're going to take this right-hand side here, 7 plus y2 divided by 2. And we're going to set those equal. Now we have two equations, and we're going to solve them individually. Okay, if we multiply both sides by 2, we'll get rid of our fraction here. That's why we're multiplying by 2. So then we get negative 4 equals negative 5 plus x2. And then we can simplify by adding 5 to both sides, and we get x2 equals 1. On the right-hand side, multiplying by 2, we get 2 equals 7 plus y2. And then solving by subtracting 7 from both sides, we get y2 equals negative 5. So now the coordinates of the midpoint, we have the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. So the coordinates are positive 1, comma, negative 5. The x-coordinate first, and then the second is always the y-coordinate. So here's one for you to try. It says the midpoint of AB has coordinates 4, negative 9. The endpoint A has coordinates negative 3, negative 5, what are the coordinates of B? We're looking for that other coordinate. So what you would do on this one, you're going to say, um, we already know the endpoint um, of AB. One of the endpoints is A, which is negative 3, 5. So we already know this one. And we already know the midpoint here. Okay. So our formula for the midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, okay? And that's equal to the midpoint um, coordinate for, the x coordinate for the midpoint. So let's go ahead and substitute in what we know, okay? So endpoint A has coordinate negative 3. Here's the x coordinate, and here's the x coordinate that it will be equal to in the midpoint. So let's go ahead and write what we know. So x1 is going to be negative 3 plus x2 is what we're looking for. Divided by 2 will equal 4. Okay. Multiply by 2 on both sides so that we can get rid of our fractions. And we will have negative 3 plus x2 equals 8. Solving for x2, we're going to add 3 to both sides, so we would get x2 equals 11. So that is the coordinate of the midpoint, the x-coordinate. Now we need to go up here and do the same thing for the y-coordinate. So then we'll have y1 plus y2 over 2 is equal to that midpoint coordinate of, this time it will be equal to, uh, up here, negative 9. I want to make sure I use the right coordinate. Okay, so y1 is negative 5, so let's substitute that in. Negative 5 plus y2 over 2 is equal to negative 9. Multiplying both sides by 2 to get rid of our fractions, we get negative 5 plus y2 equal to negative 18. And then adding 5 to both sides, 
we get y2 equals negative 13. So now to write the ordered pair for our midpoint, we're going to have the coordinates of the midpoint are 11, excuse me, not the midpoint, this is the coordinate of the end point, would have coordinates 11 and negative 13. Okay, what are the coordinates of B? So B equals 11, negative 13. Here's a chance for you to practice. Feel free to go back and listen to this again and follow along to see how to do these. This first one, they give you both endpoints, find the midpoint. The second one, they give you the midpoint and one of the endpoints, and you have to find the other endpoint. So bring that answer to class.